Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and welcome to your grade 12 trigonometry. Today we are looking at double angles. Okay, and at the end of this video, you will be able to derive this formula and you will also be able to use them, that is to answer questions using these formulae okay all right so now this video first and first we will be introducing um this double angles on what explaining how we're using it why we're using it and so on just a brief introduction and then we will be deriving the double angle formula for cosine and the double angle formula for sine to conclude this video we will be working on some examples as well. We will give you lots of examples. Okay, so without any waste of time, let's get into it. All right, so let's begin with our introduction. So in our introduction, I want to show you something. I think you will agree with me that sine Let's say this sine 90 degrees is equal to sine 2 times 45 degrees. All right? You would agree with me. In the same way, uh, let's confirm though. Let's confirm. Uh, let me ask you this now. Sine 60 degrees. Will you then agree with me that sine 60 degrees is, what is this, is sine 2 times 30 degrees? Would you? I think so. You would, right? Or well, let me not just work with sine. You can also imagine this, even um, sine 120 degrees. You can imagine it to be rather cos 120 degrees you can imagine it to be 2 times uh, 60 degrees isn't it 2 times 60 degrees all right so you know this one is uh, 1 you know this one is root 3 over 2 and this one is let me see um, negative root 3 over 2. Yes, it's negative root 3 over 2. Is it? Uh, no, it's negative half. It's negative half. It's not negative root 3 over 2. It's negative half. Right? This is what we know about these guys. But if we are given these in this form, hmm, it looks totally different, right? But don't worry. This is just the way of mathematics. And you will get to understand these where it will be a lot easier for you to be calculating double angles. Okay? You will see examples as well. Okay? You will see examples as well. All right? All right. Proceeding. Now, let's then get to deriving cosine double angle. cosine double angle so let me remind you we i will say given cos alpha plus beta equals cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta determine Right. Determine cos two alpha. Okay. Determine cos two alpha. So what we are going to say is this. Our solution going to say this. Um. Let beta 
equals alpha. So let's do this. This basically says, cos 2 alpha is basically equal to cos alpha plus alpha. All right, you know it to be that. Cos alpha plus alpha, isn't it? So, now, we will say, because we know this is, um, we now considering it to be compound angle, we will just say, okay, this is cos alpha, cos alpha minus sine alpha, sine alpha, isn't it? And what is this? This is cos square alpha minus sine square alpha, okay? So, this is one of the relationships that you can find. Again, let me show you. By the way, we are done. We have proven, or rather we have derived the formula for cos 2 alpha. That is the double angle for cosine. So, again, you know, cos square alpha plus sine square alpha is equal to 1, isn't it? This implies cos square alpha is equal to 1 minus sine square alpha. Or it can also imply sine square alpha equals 1 minus cos square alpha, isn't it? Now, I want you to use this square identity and then Remember what we have said? We have said cos 2 alpha is equal to cos square alpha minus sine square alpha. So how about I say, in place of cos, I write, as you can see, I said this is sine square alpha minus sine square alpha. This becomes 1 minus 2 sine square alpha. Okay, this is another formula. Then, or you can say again, cos 2 alpha equals cos square alpha minus, oh boy. My, oh yes, it's back now minus sine square alpha. Now, in place of alpha, in place of alpha, we are in place of sine square, we will say it is one minus cos square alpha. What is this? This is cos square alpha minus one plus cos square alpha isn't it? As you can see, like terms. So we have 2 cos square alpha minus 1. So we can summarize this by saying double angle of cosine can be represented as, let me use a bigger font size, so we can therefore say cos 2 alpha is equal to cos square alpha minus sine square alpha. Or it can be 2 cos square alpha minus 1. Or it can be 1 minus 2 sine square. 2 sine square alpha, isn't it? can be 2 sine square alpha, right? So, this is this is your formula for double angle of cosine. Now, let us then head to sine, double angle of sine. Okay. I believe it's number 3. Deriving double angle of uh, what did I say? Deriving sine double angle. 
okay deriving sine double angle okay so let's say here we will be given sine a and i say a okay let me use alpha sine alpha plus beta equals sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta now determine or should i say determine i think i like it when you say determine so determine sine 2 alpha okay now our solution we will say let beta equals alpha so i repeat this will be sine 2 alpha will be equal to sine alpha where there's beta i put alpha all right so what is this that compound angle do you recall it it was sine alpha cos alpha plus again sine alpha cos alpha right remember where there's beta you put alpha so this is what you this is sine alpha plus beta but now because we have sine alpha plus alpha we can do this what do you see you see we have like terms two sine alpha cos alpha okay so now double angles what do we have in summary so our summary what do we have we have let's remind ourselves for cos 2 alpha we had cos square alpha minus sine square alpha and then it can also be 2 cos square alpha minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square alpha and then for sine you have sine 2 alpha equals 2 sine alpha cos alpha now i want you guys to note something if let's say we have 30 degrees okay let's say we have 30 oh let me say 60 um let's say 60 i will say cos 60 degrees as an example okay as an example maybe let me call it minor example okay let me say minor example so let's say we have cos 60 how we use cos 60 will be um if 60 is a double angle right so 60 is two times something it can only be for it to be double angle say divide by two right it will be 30 right so this angle will be cos square 30 degrees minus sine square 30 degrees i am saying this because you notice you say cos 2 alpha is equal to cos square alpha minus sine square alpha it will become a bit difficult when you don't have your variables x or parameters alpha you have now actual angles it will be difficult so i want you to be careful that what you are saying is okay whatever angle you have here is double whatever so basically if you want to know the angle that you'll be using you just divide this by two and then you will know what to put in again if they gave you um the right hand side of this thing here you just multiply it by two you will be getting your double angle okay you will be getting your double angle so let's have real examples now <laughs> okay let's have real examples now okay we're now going to have real examples so 
Um, our examples, we might, I think we should begin with these ones here. So example one, I should say expand using double angle. Yeah, expand using double angles or double angle formulae. Expand using double angle formulae. Formulae. Okay. Uh, what are you expanding? Expanding cos 4x, number 2, sine 6x, number 3, sine 50 degrees, number 4, 2 cos 22 degrees. Okay. 2 cos 22 degrees. Okay. Now, let's get to the solutions. Now, the solutions. This is, you're expanding using double angle. You have never seen 4x, right? But it can be a double, right? So, my suggestion to you, let me write it down, cos 4x, or before then, for number 1, um, Oh, let me just write it. It's okay. 4x. So if 2x is equal to... Uh, let me say, yeah, 2x is equal to 4. This should then be telling you, yeah, if 2x is equal to 4, let me just write it like that. If 2x is... Should I just say 2x is equal to 4? Let me say 2 alpha. Okay, let me say 2 alpha is equal to... 4. Okay. If 2 alpha is equal to 4, this should be telling you that alpha is equal to 2. Remember, I'm using alpha from that knowledge of cos 2 alpha is equal to cos square alpha minus sine square alpha. Okay. So this means I will be saying the angle that I'm working with half of 4x is 2x. Okay, half of 4x is 2x. Or if you like, you can say alpha equals half times 4x, which is 2x. Okay, so let's proceed. We will say we have cos 4x equals cos 2 times 2x. Can you see that? Hence, we will say, okay, if this is the case, there's a double angle. So we'll say we have cos square 2x minus sine square 2x. I know that you see that this is another double angle. There's nothing wrong with it. Right? There's nothing wrong with it. You can leave it here or you can further expand. Right? You can leave it here or you can further expand. It's totally up to you, right? You can leave it here or you can totally expand. So because you know this is a double angle, so it's a square. So basically you will have another cos square x minus sine square x. However, it's cos 2x squared. So this will be squared. And what is this one? This one you know it to be 2 sine x cos x, but it's square. Let me go back. I want to show you something. Let me go back. You recall these, right? You recall these. All right? Okay. So let's see. Now we can say, oh boy, it seems here we have cos 4x minus 2 sine square x cos square x plus cos to the 4x and what is this minus 4 okay hear me this is 4 cos square x sine square x i'm sorry i'm squeezing it okay all right so <laughs> you have 
cross to the four and cross to the uh, this is yeah cross to the four and sine not cos. All right, cos to the four and this is sine to the four. All right. Let's better simplify it. This will then become cos to the four x minus six sine square x cos square x plus sine oh boy sine to the four x all right so what is happening you do not hear me out you do not need to simplify this or to oversimplify it um i suggest when you get here you can live it okay i suggest when you get here you can live it here because oh boy i just do not like it I just do not like it. It's, it complicates our lines. Okay? It complicates our lines. Okay? It complicates our lines. And <laughs> so if it's according to me, I can leave it here. Okay? If it's according to me, I can leave it here. Uh, because this will be a waste of time. Okay? So if you do not like to leave it in this form... You can also say, um, let me say or, let me use the word color. You can also say or, cause 4x again is equal to 2, let me do that, uh, is cause 2 times 2x and say, okay, this is 2 cos square 2x minus one it's okay you can leave it here or you can further simplify it it's totally up to you but at least with this one even though the same could have happened with this okay with this one you can still simplify it it'll still work okay with this one you can still simplify it it'll still work okay it'll still work however that's not something that i want to play with Okay, that's not something I want to play with. So I'm going to leave it here. It's okay to leave it here. Okay, it's okay to leave it here. All right. Now, we go into sign 6x. Then go into, oh, you can also try with, um, let me try it here. Again, cos 2, is it 4? Yeah, cos 4x equals Again, cos 2 times 2x, you can say this is 1 minus 2 sine square 2x. Of course, you will have to, if you like, you can further simplify this, but I don't see the need of doing that. Okay, so it's fine. Let me just go to number 2. Number 2 is sine 6x. Okay. Number two is sine six x. Again, sine six x. You must ask yourself. Um, basically, alpha is half of six x, which is three x. Right. This is me. At alpha is half of six x, which is three x. Right. So, therefore, I will say sine six x is basically sine. 2 times 3x. In other words, I have 2 sine 3x cos 3x. Is that happy? Yes. Remember the double angle formula for sine, right? Is sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x. Right? Perfect. Now, number 3. Number three was, I believe, sine 50. Yeah, sine 50 degrees. Sine 50 degrees. Again, <laughs> alpha is half times 50, which is 25 degrees. I remember I'm using alpha because I had said this is a double angle, 
right this is a double angle so i will always be trying to find half of this okay so because this is uh let me continue maybe sine 50 degrees is equal to sine 2 times 25 right are you okay sine 2 times 25 is okay in this way so as you can see this is basically your double angle it's similar to saying alpha is 25 degrees and you know when you have sine 2 theta sine 2 alpha it will be 2 sine alpha cos alpha meaning it will be 2 sine 25 degrees cos 25 degrees right perfect now number four 2 cos 22 now this is interesting 2 cos 22 2 cos 22 degrees a question you should ask yourself again is what is half of 22 half of 22 is 11 degrees now this therefore means we will be using um what is this we will be using a double angle for cosine so this is 2 cos 22 degrees which is 2 cos which is 2 cos 2 times 11 degrees right now this is 2 because it's 2 times it's a double angle I will prefer using that one of 2 cos square 11 degrees minus 1. Therefore, the answer is 4 cos square 11 degrees minus 2. Okay. I prefer using this one. But remember, you can even use the one of sine cos square alpha minus sine square alpha or whichever you like. I prefer using this one. It's okay. Whichever you use, it gives you the answer. And it must give you the same answer, apparently. But for now, it will give you something slightly different because you're not making calculations as yet. Okay, so this is it. Okay, all right. Now, let's try, let's try now a second set of examples. Now, in the second set of examples, I think I should try, I'm not sure. Um, okay. I will say in the second set of examples, let me say example two, write as a single trigonometric function. Okay, I write the following as a single, yes, I write the following as a single trigonometric trigonometric function so what are those number one we're looking at two sine three a cos three a number two four <laughs> cos theta sine theta number three 1 minus uh, 2 sine square alpha over 2 number 4 2 cos square 2 alpha minus 1 and then number 5 we have cos 2 alpha minus sine 2 alpha or sorry theta all multiplied by cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta close okay so let me see yeah so let's get our solutions for these so our solutions number one we had two sine 
3a cos 3a. This looks like we are dealing with double angle of psi, right? As you can see, our alpha here, our alpha is 3a. Now, what is double alpha? Double alpha will be 2 times 3a, which is 6a. Therefore, 2 sine 3a cos 3a will be sine 6a. Okay? It will be sine 6a. Okay? Perfect. Number two, four cos theta sine theta, or four <laughs> sine theta cos theta. It doesn't matter what you know. This two, you can somehow simplify it. It can be a product of two. So it can be two times two times sine theta cos theta. All right? And you know, 2 sine theta cos theta. Ah, if I'm continuing with what I've been doing, it will be alpha equals theta. 2 alpha will be 2 theta. <laughs> Therefore, this is 2 sine 2 theta. Okay? This is 2 sine 2 theta. Okay? F. Now, number 3, 1 minus 2 sine, okay. 3, 1 minus 2 sine square alpha over 2. So with this one, it does look like a double angle, but be careful. Here it seems, uh, let me not say alpha this time, let me just say, a reminder, cos 2a equals 1 minus 2 sine square a, okay? So, um, it's still the same procedure. However, I'm not going to use a because what's the use of saying a equals a, okay? So, here, I'm basically saying a equals alpha over 2. So now what is 2a? 2a will be alpha. Can you see that? 2a will be alpha. If you are not sure, it is 2 times alpha over 2. Hence, I'm saying it will be alpha. So our answer here, this will be cos alpha. Okay? And this is what we call a double, a half angle. Okay, so this is cos alpha. All right. This is cos alpha. Perfect. Number four. Two cos squared, two theta. Oh, so, yeah, two cos squared, two theta minus one. Two cos squared, two theta. Minus y. Again, you know this formula, right? You know this formula. So it seems here our alpha is 2 theta. Now I can go back to my alpha. It's 2 theta. What is 2 alpha? It will be 4 theta. Okay? It will be 4 theta. All right? It will be 4 theta. So we can therefore say this is, let's see, this is cos 4 theta. Okay, this is cos 4 theta. All right? Um, did we have number 5? Oh, look, number 5. Now number 5, we had open bracket cos 2 theta. Uh, minus okay, cos 2 theta minus 
sine 2 theta, close bracket, open, cos 2 theta plus sine 2 theta. So this is a difference of two squares. So it is, it will reduce to cos square 2 theta minus sine square 2 theta simply because it's a difference of two squares. Okay, as you can see, it is what you know as one of the formulas for double angle, all right, as one of the formulae for double angle. So what do you have? You say alpha equals two theta. So what is two alpha? It must be four theta. <laughs> so therefore, this reduces to cos four theta, okay? This reduces to cos four theta, okay? It reduces to cos four theta, all right? So we then need to play around with more. I think I should have more. Let me now try what example was this? Uh, I think this was example two. I'm going to try example three. Example three, I'm going to say, given cos y equals one, evaluate cos two y. Okay, evaluate cos two y. So, our solution, I don't even have to find, um, what is this, the right angle triangle, you, you know, using the cast diagram and stuff. I can simply say, oh, they want me to evaluate cos 2y. Isn't it easy? I do know cos 2y, because I have cos, I don't have to do any other thing. I can just leave it here and say, okay, it's simply cos squared y, rather, 2 cos squared y minus 1. Now, these, they have already given me cos y, okay? They've already given me cos y. They said cos y is 1. However, this is cos y squared. So it will be 1 squared minus 1. Our answer is 2 into 1 minus 1. Therefore, our answer is 1. So cos 2y is 1. Okay, is one. Or, or, this is what you have. They said cos y is one. So, if they say it's one, this means this must be one, and this must be one. Isn't it? Because it's one over one. So, what is this? Oh boy, what is this? I'm not sure. Uh, cos y, we know that uh, cosine is opposite over, what is it? We know that cosine is adjacent over, pardon, why am I putting it here? We know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if this is um, 1 over 1, what will this be? It will be 0, isn't it? So this won't work in this way. So not even going to waste my time because this will become 0 and I'm sorry, I'm not going to do this. So this is perfect, okay? So this is perfect. It's simply okay, okay? It's simply okay. But like I said, cos y will be, or like sine y will be zero, okay? Because if you don't believe me, r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So this is one squared. This is one squared plus, uh-huh. So zero equals aha, uh -huh. therefore zero equals aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so if you are evaluating cos two y, if you are evaluating cos two y and you want to use y, what do you say? Uh, let's say you take in this one here. What do you get? 1 squared minus 0 squared. This is simply 1. Or, if you are taking that other one, cos 2y equals 1 minus 2 sine square y. What did we say? 
we said y was zero all right we said y was zero so you can imagine y over zero i mean zero over one is zero hence you will be getting y can you see that oh yeah all right huh. this was interesting so you could have left it here guys but i'm just showing you the flexibility of these formulae that you derive okay <laughs> now example four example four says um, let me see it says um cos alpha equals seven over twenty five where Ah, sorry, where alpha is greater or equal to zero degrees, but less or equal to 270 degrees. Okay, so when you draw your cast diagram, this angle cosine is positive, but they saying it can be greater than zero, but less than 270. That means it can be in the first, second, third. It cannot be in the fourth. However, for cosine to be positive, it must be in the first quadrant, right? So if it's in the first quadrant, and they say this is alpha, right? This is alpha. This is alpha. So this unit here, or rather this side here is seven units long, whereas this one is the hypotenuse is 25. What do we do? We'll therefore say y equals or maybe let me not rush it. I will then say x squared equals r squared, sorry, equals x squared plus y squared. What is r? It's 25. So it's 25 square. x is 7 square plus y squared. So this is 625. Sorry, this is 625. And this is 49 plus a half. So 625 minus 49 will be 576. All right. So square root of our answer is 24. So y equals plus minus 24. But because this is in the first quadrant, we can say y, we can say y is positive. 24 simply because it's in the first quadrant all right now um now this question says given cos alpha equals this and this and uh, evaluate should we say evaluate or determine or determine i think determine is better determine sine 2 alpha okay determine sine 2 alpha okay determine sine 2 alpha i think i can write i can write this in this page however let me change the color so sine 2 alpha is 2 cos alpha sine alpha right this is two. What is cos alpha? It was seven over twenty-five. Now, what is sine alpha? Sine is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is the y value, which we found to be twenty-four over hypotenuse is twenty-five. Right. So we have two times seven times twenty-four. This is triple six. Your Double three six over six two five. So this is you now determining your sine two alpha given this information here. Okay. Perfect. Now we have let me see um let me see okay. I will say simplify. So we have two more, but the second last will be a lot. Ah, 
Yeah, the last one will be a lot. So let's try example. What example number is this? Example five. Example five says simplify. Let's say this. Simplify square root of one minus cos square two theta over sine negative theta cos 90 degrees minus theta. Let's try to simplify. So we had one of solution. Let me just say solution. Solution, we had one minus cos square 2 theta square root of it cos all over sine negative theta cos 90 degrees minus theta. You see, now I even forgot to write the minus theta. Okay. So, all right. Somehow we have seen 1 minus cos square whatever, we know sine square plus cos square is 1. Okay? So this is sine square 2 theta. Okay? This is sine square 2 theta. Okay? Square root of sine square 2 theta. Now this is a negative angle of sine. So it will be negative sine theta and then this is cos 90 minus cos in the 90 minus quadrant which is the first quadrant is positive but because this is cosine this has to change to psi okay this has to change to psi okay perfect now another thing that I want you to notice here is that here you have square root of sine square, which will mean you have sine 2 theta. Okay? So, continuing, you now have sine 2 theta, because the square root has killed that power, over minus sine square theta. Okay? This is because this is sine times sine. Hence, I'm saying minus sine square theta. Okay? sine square theta. Maybe let me rewrite it so you can not say they are the same. Sine square theta. Now this is a double angle of sine. So negative. We know double angle of sine will be 2 sine theta cos theta all over sine square theta. So This will cancel with one of the signs. So, what are you left with? You are left with negative 2 cos theta over sine theta. So, this means you have minus 2 over tan theta. Can you guys see that? You have minus 2 over tan theta. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Let's see what this one is saying. Okay, moving on. I think it's example six. Okay. So example six says simplify without using a calculator. Simplify without using a Calculator. Okay. Number one, we will simplify 2 sine 22,5 cos 22,5 degrees. Okay. Number two, 2 sine 75 degrees cos 75 degrees. Number three, 
1 minus 2 sine square 75 degrees is it 75 15 15 let's make it sine 15 degrees sine square 15 degrees number 4 will be cos square 15 degrees minus sine square 15 degrees number 5 and two, number 5 will be cos square 15 degrees plus sine square 15 degrees okay um number six let me play with two um, uh, no i can do just this five uh, this five would do okay this five would do okay yeah this five would do. so let's see our solutions i'm gonna go to the next page Number one, we have two sine 22.5 degrees cos 22.5 degrees. This is a double angle. As you can see, that alpha, all right, that alpha is 22.5 degrees. So two times alpha is two times 22.5, which will be 45 degrees. Therefore, We'll say 2 sine 22.5 degrees cos 22.5 degrees is sine, again, 2 times 22.5 degrees. Do you guys see that? What is this? This is a demonstration that helps you a lot. So this becomes sine 45 degrees. So what is sine 45 degrees? It is root 2 over 2. Happy? Great. Now, number 2. We have 2 sine 75 degrees cos 75 degrees. Yes, it looks like a double angle. So what do we have? Alpha equals 75 degrees. Two alpha will be two times 75 degrees, which is 150 degrees. Therefore, two sine 75 degrees cos 75 degrees is two, oh, sorry. It's sine because this is a this looks like double angle of sine sine two times seventy five degrees which is sine one fifty degrees. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to use the reduction formula. I'm not gonna waste time. So I will say okay. This is one eighty degrees minus thirty sine in the 180 minus is positive so we have sine 30 degrees our answer is half so if you press this on your calculator it will give you half okay perfect now 1 minus sine square 15 1 minus 2 sine square 15 1 minus 2 sine square 15 degrees again alpha equals 15 degrees 2 alpha will be 30 degrees double angle let's see and this looks like formula of double angle so this will be cos 2 times 15 degrees which is cos of 30 so cos of 30 is root 3 over 2. Okay? 
number four. So I'm 15 minus, okay. Was it sign? Okay, of course, square 15 degrees. Cos square 15 degrees minus sine square 15 degrees. What is this? Again, <laughs> alpha equals 15 degrees. 2 alpha will be 30. So indeed, this looks like you have cos 2 times 15 degrees, which is cos 30 right which is cos 30 degrees and cos 30 degrees is with 3 over 2 oh boy can you see it's one and the same thing but no worries <laughs> number 5 cos square 15 plus sin square 15 degrees number 5 cos square 15 degrees plus Sine squared, 15 degrees. <laughs> this is not double angle, guys. This is simply one. Okay. This is simply one. So, this is it, guys. This is how you answer questions on double angles. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And... All the best in your studies. So do not forget to subscribe, to like, and if you want to comment, you can comment. And yeah, you can share the video with your friends, with your school, with everyone. So thank you for being with us, guys. And bye-bye.